Alex versus Pat, going to game three. They're on their last two heroes, Ira, Reinar. We have not seen Reinar yet. This is very interesting. It is. One thing that I love seeing here out of Reinar, uh, Pat is bringing the new spec headpiece from Heavy Hitters. Uh, I love that hat. That hat's great. I love that hat. Uh, they also uh, pitched away. By pitched away, I mean discarded by activating the ability on Agile Windup to create a agility token. And to give these mandible claws go again. Yes, and turn zero. And another card I just love seeing in Reinar, uh, Sand Sketch Plan in the, the pitch zone. That is a, a wacky card, and I love doing stuff with that card, let me tell you. It's great. It's basically um, two action points, right? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a different other way to be able to go really wide in Brute, especially early in the game before uh, we had all these agility tokens flying around from heavy hitters. This was just how Spinar was able to just make a turn stretch stretch out longer and longer. Alex is on that same game plan though. Going into their turn, Kadachi into Kadachi. Kadachi into Kadachi. Very potent. And uh Pat saying, I'm here for a good time, not a long time, committing their beaten trackers. And the headpiece that I love, whose name I've absolutely forgotten to block in that second Kadachi. Monstrous Veil. Monstrous Veil. They did the Monstrous Veil. Flying Kick coming across here. That's gross. Uh, and uh, Salt and Battery coming on the block. Back over to the Smash Good themselves. Already got, yeah. Already got some tempo on the board. Pat's got a quicken token. <laughs> Looks like he's playing his Goliath gauntlet. Oh, and the red Brush beat down. beat down. Oh no. Man. This is great. So mechanic that Reinar enjoys a lot, intimidate, discard basically banish a card from your opponent's hand until it a turn. It's a card they won't be able to block with. Um and yeah, Reiner's and a big beat down the floor as long as they don't block with two more cards from hand. Whoa! 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 Oh, oh, you All right, this this turn's just going crazy, right? So this is the perfect hand. You go Barrage B down into Alpha Rampage. It discards a six attack, and it says Intimidate on it. They are going to end up Intimidating three times, which notably matters for uh, Barrage down, which says if this is blocked uh, with two or more cards, then you don't actually get its plus four anymore. So this is just a... Just a 13 damage attack. Yeah, uh, this is... This is gonna Holy hurt. cow. Oh, that's right. Oh, plus the Goliath got 15. Holy cow. Jiminy Christmas. We are uh, wasting no time here. This is why Reinar is absolutely terrifying. Absolutely terrifying in these lower health formats. So this is Alpha Rampage coming in for 15. Only one card to block with. I feel like you have to block with this card unless you think you can throw back mm. more. Uh, they're taking a minute. They're thinking about it. Yeah. You know, they could effectively have a five-card hand. Um, is saving their five cards, you know, worth worth getting absolutely uh, just squashed by by Reinar right now uh, in the hopes that you can just turn around and send back more? That is the age-old question, I suppose, right? That's what, uh, that's what this is all about. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you should probably at least walk with your equipment at this point and where you can. Uh, but they're reviewing the cards and they're banished. They're reviewing their arsenal. They're really thinking about what... Does my turn look like after this? Yeah, certainly. You know, especially with the combo cards that we've already seen in this deck, you know, it's not impossible that they might just have a natural combo line set up where they're just going to accept this large amount of damage. Uh, oh, no, but instead, they, you know, they've got a defense reaction, a flick flack for four. You know, of all the cards to not be intimidated, that's certainly the one that you don't want intimidated. Putting Alex down to nine. Yeah. Mm. 
Resetting here, coming back over to them. Big surprise here. Blue zero cost card in the pitch zone to activate those Kadachis. Coming in, coming in for one. Do you think Pat's blocking this game? Oh, boy. When it comes to one attack at Oh my gosh, probably not. No, <laughs> I'm just going to say no. Uh, you, you, if you yeah, really yeah. want to, and there he goes, he's taking yeah, it. If you really want to be able to make a difference, as Reinar, a lot of you, especially in uh, these quote unquote lower rarity formats, you got to save your cards to be able to do the big fun stuff, as they showed with that last turn. And this turn, just not respecting the Kadachis at all, taking the first and the second. Boy, and it's the Iris special. Here comes a torrent of tempo. Now we're really going to see what Pat's hand looks like, right? So if he blocks on this to stop the turn from going any wider, then we know he's probably going to play a bit more of a setup turn, maybe swing, call, arsenal. Um, it'll be yeah. interesting. We'll, it we'll see. Be. It's interesting. He could just snap back and throw another 15. Very plausibly. They, they did that <laughs> off... Uh, I suppose they did it off five cards that had that extra barraging, but you know we'll see. We'll see what they're able to able to cook up here. Oh yeah, it is. Um, it is notable, I guess. Uh, seeing double claw for Reinar here. Um, I have been uh, something of a club fan, uh, the good old romping club in Clash. Personally, mm -hmm. um, I've also uh, fiddled a little bit with claw and ball breaker. Uh, you know, Pat's a claw truther here. It looks like. It's it, it it is actually really interesting because you're not going to get blood rush bellow, which is like the main reason you'd run two claws, right? right. Um, so it, it's interesting what he's using the claws for. Well, there we are, committing five defense, savage feast, and an agile windup on the combat chain to block there. Well, Alex is canoodling their snapdragon scalers, considering oh. And, in fact, electing to activate them. And it looks like that's a Fluster Fist coming out there. Looks like it's coming in for four. Same. Yep, there it is. That four damage right now is worth it. It does have combo, so they could activate their Breaking Scales. They haven't gotten the block out of it, so that'd be somewhat of a value negative play. You know, could have saved a life off of that gnarly... Turn Pat sent. That may be putting the cart a little bit before the horse here. I think he saved the breaking scales. I feel like he got it right. Um, Pat's just going to take the four, go down to ten. Everyone's life totals are roughly even up at this point. Um, coming back, Pat has two cards in hand. Wow. And he's going to throw an assault to battery, not beating his chest, just a simple seven. No, no, no beating here. No beating, just salt, just assaulting. And you know, a nice clean block coming through. And they're blocking seven. Two card, seven damage attack, two card block Ooh. with the flick flack coming in for four. Them heavy hitters numbers right there. Show me yours, I'll show you mine. Guess what? Mine also involves two daggers that are very annoying, says Alex. And here comes the first. Not exactly. Not at a point where I would be scared of them yet. Pat still has their heart and cross wrap up. They've still got their beaten trackers up. They've still got that monstrous veil available to them. Quite plausible to see Pat just say, okay, do your worst because I'm going to absolutely ruin your life with this four card hand that I have here. Head jab for four with go again is That's something to consider, though. Harden arsenal. Harden hand as well, still, I do believe. Uh, I think they blocked with two cards. So by pitching the blue, attacking with the red, one card in arsenal, that should be the whole hand. That should be the whole hand. That is, in fact, how math works. That's why <laughs> we have William here. What can I say? Counting to five is my strong suit. <laughs> my strong suit is spades. He, oh, you know, <laughs> here comes the surging strike. Five with go again. Uh, that is lethal. That has now put it, yeah. Pat in something of a pickle. 
That's what's tough uh, about being too greedy. Oh, and you know what? That's a card you know, that... If, if it hits, though, he could do something crazy, which is, you know, uh, activate his uh, chess piece and swing the last Kadachi. Uh, it doesn't look like that's what they went with. Um, that's a spicy little line they could have taken. That have been quite the, the spicy ball to see plop down in the pan there. Speaking Here's of the chess piece. piece activations. Whoa. Brought me down. This could be the game right here. This could be yes. the whole game. This quite literally could oh, be. Oh, goodness. Intimidating Holds. card. The snake's eye rolled. The first one intimidated. Oh, boy. Savage feast. Discarding their last card. We'll allow them to draw a card because that was a six power attack that was discarded. Do they break their boots for an action point? Uh, they what do they break their on? boots oh, for an do. action point. Oh, yeah, you yep. draw a card. Yes. Yep. To be able to claw, maybe. It's a good combo. It is. Something of a wombo combo. Good old beaten trackers. Just show me your little green titsies. That's what they say. That's uh, something they could technically say. Oh, that is what they say. That was actually the... Um, the flavor text on the, the first edition printing of Savage Feast, uh, but then in the oh. unlimited printing that, uh, okay. that came off there, you know, bit of an Easter egg for you, something of a nugget. That. that makes sense. Okay. I can't, you know, a Welcome to Wraith first edition is not something I'm very familiar with. <laughs> okay. The Monster's Veil is being activated here. Drawing a card, discarding one of their cards at random. Wanting to really push that. Claw damage through without them having any cards available in hand. And that was successful. Bringing Alex down to six. That's really good. The thing that's tough about that, though, is they still have their their hand to, send, to swing back at you. When you're at three, uh, not, much, not much runway. A large part of being able to mitigate that Reinar turn was... Um, they only had two intimidates, so they were able to block. Alex was able to block with his last two cards out of his hand, which completely nullifies the barraging beatdown. I mean, barraging beatdown does, in a way, basically have to block with two cards or take four more, but or basically take lethal. But you know, blocking two cards, block six, the attack down to six. You don't actually get that plus four anymore. Uh, Puts Alex in actually kind of a good position. Yeah, a bit of a tete a tet there between the attack. Especially with Pat only at two. Yeah. yeah. Precisely. Open the center coming through. Well, would Plus you know? one from Ira, and you could threaten the plus one from the breaking scales. Yeah. Not, not my favorite place to be in. I don't love having to play around breaking scales. Uh-uh. Huh? Oh. Blue Wrecker Romp. Best card in the game. Down the block. Ah, uh, Pat also had the take it on the chin. Fun inclusion there. Oh, oh man, but the breaking scales. Did it? Pat takes one? No, Pat takes Pat two. Pat takes death. He only covered Pat takes death. Uh, five, and then with breaking scales. Oh, my gosh. Wow. And wow. That, that does it. Wow, congratulations to Alex. Gallant wow, effort that, you know. By Patty Shaw. Yeah, amazing. That was that was actually kind of awesome. And Alex moves up to play against Peppa or Henry in the semifinals of the Clash Bash League. Uh, I was William from the Table Pit where we do in-person UPF gameplay videos. Uh, Greg, uh, it was a pleasure to work with you. Yeah, thank you so where much. Where can people find yeah, you? Yeah, Greg, a.k.a. Darth Prentice, on the Twitters, on the YouTubes. I'm all about uh, unofficial PvE, Twitch streams, and edited gameplay on YouTube. Check me out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can tune in to the rest of the Top 8 Clash Bash right here. 